Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are doing Yana's room. So I have already got all the furniture in here. Um, I am going to be sharing how I did those in the video. So um, yeah, but I have moved all the bulk furniture in just yet because I am doing it by myself. <laughs> and I did needed help to kind of get everything situated before I started this. So we've already got her bed. Her bed is a twin bed. Um, and then we've got two dresses on each side. Those ones are an upcycle, which I am going to be sharing in this video. Um, and then I've already got, she had her rug down already before her bed got put up. So I love this rug and it is the perfect rug for this room. Um, and I say that because it's not such a high pile rug. Um, it's not that much, it's not a high pile rug, which I like for her. And also, um, it is the colors on it. I love. For two reasons one because i wanted i like the fact that it works with the bed the second reason is that yana paints and loads of times you come you find her on the floor with her painting pad and all kinds of different paints and i just thought i don't want something that will show the paint if it goes on the floor and with a low power you can easily clean it so this works for me and then on this side we have also got a dresser so well not a dresser a chest of drawers and she has got her desk on that side. So all this furniture got put in already uh, because I wanted them in place before I can do this. Otherwise it would have been too much dragging around on my own and I just didn't care for that. So it's just furniture placement that's already been done. This is a set that I got. I'm only using the two nightstands for Yana's room. So the first thing that I did was I took out the staples that had come off and I'm just going to replace them with new ones um, to hold the back of the side, uh, tab uh, side tables because yeah, that bit had come off. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. It was super easy to do. I'm using a, ref um, a stapling cone that you use if you're doing furniture. And then I just took off these screws that were hanging in the corner. I'm assuming that there was a piece of wood that was sitting at the back there. It didn't feel to me like it was needed, so I didn't feel the need to replace it. I'm using bin primer um, to uh, prime uh, the dresses with. There is uh, one that you can paint on, like with a roller, but I prefer this one. This one is way quicker. And then I started using a spray gun, which I got super excited with, with my paint. And then halfway through it, it just stopped which wasn't very nice. So the rest of it I had to do by hand. But I, after I did the first coat, you, I had some holes, like fit, spaces to fill. So I filled those. And then I'm going to use a 20 grit sandpaper to kind of just sand, sand that down, make sure that it's all nice and smooth before I go in with my last coat. Once I was done with all the sanding, I just used a wet damp cloth and cleaned it all the way just to make sure that I took all the dust out. And then I'm mixing a little bit of my paint with um, po uh, polyurethane, so it's a varnish, and I'm using a water-based one. The, I should say that the color of this paint is Wheat Bread by Bear. I absolutely love this color. It's so muted, so, it's so, so, I love it. Love, love, love this paint. Anyway, so I'm just going to go over it one more time. Um, and to, um, this is me just kind of just coating it with the uh, top coat to make sure that I can wipe it, I can scrub it if it needs all that kind of jazz. So that's what I am doing here. So that's the painting done. I am going to be hanging a mirror on both sides of the wall and I am using a mirror that I bought from Donna Mills in the UK. When I saw these mirrors, I literally just fell in love. I love that they are black and they are arched. It's such a beautiful mirror and so inexpensive. I'll link it in the description bar below for you guys and I'll find something similar in the US and I'll link it below as well. Okay, I just wanted to speak to you guys about this bed. If you are someone that likes like a hard, I love memory foam. I just think they're the kind of beds that will last a lifetime. They're easy to maintain. Um, I always use a mattress cover over my bed. All of the mattresses in the house, I use a mattress cover over it. And as you can see, when you put your hand in, it kind of just kind of bounce back out again. It's so comfortable to sleep on. 
it is breathable i really really love this bed i'll find one that's similar because i got mine um from an outlet um but that's the name of the mattress if you were looking for it um but it is such a beautiful mattress and i love how deep it is i really really like this because i like high beds and as you can see the bed frame is very low um even when you add I don't remember how you call this thing this thing inside we don't have them in the uk it's a us thing so i'm still learning but even though you had the, the frame underneath when even you had that frame it still doesn't make it as big oh yes box frame so even if you had the box frame it still doesn't make it high enough if you had a bed that high so i really like my bed super high um which is why i got this mattress and i love it yana loves it she's been sleeping on it for a while now and she absolutely loves it she spends half her life in this bedroom so yeah, so she really, really loves it. I really wanted to give her a really, really good bed um, because she had her bed in the UK for so long and I kept telling her I would replace it. Um, so I'm really, really happy that she has a bigger bed and the mattress is gorgeous. I have already added the mattress cover and I'm using a waterproof one, which I will link for you guys below. It's so easy to keep clean. And then I'm adding a sheet over that as well. So just getting the bed made. making a bed sometimes can be like getting dressed uh, like I said it's the biggest thing in your room so you want to make it look really cool um, I am using this throw is from I'm trying to think of oh I've had it for the longest time either from Donna Mills or from Home Sense is one of those two places but they are my favorite places to buy them I'm still talking about the UK this have them here home goods same thing uh, I'll find a few and link them for you guys below. But I absolutely love this and I think it works really well with the rug, the headboard and the sideboards as well. I am still in the habit of duvet covers. I don't think I'll ever be converted to a comforter. I Not because they're not nice, I think they are, but I don't think that they're practical in my view because it is usually just one big thing already done like this. And so every time you want to take it out, you have to wash the whole thing. And I don't like that. I like the idea of a duvet cover, duvet and a duvet cover, because you can remove the duvet cover and then just have you, then wash that. Um, and then every now and again you wash your duvet. But this is a duvet cover and a duvet. Um, and this duvet is the duvet cover is from T from TK Maxx in the UK. <laughs> it's from TK Maxx. TK Maxx and Home Sense in the UK carry the best and in terms of thread thread count as well this one is a 600 thread count i absolutely love it and uh here i've seen them at home goods but not that much of a variety to be fair um so i will i will link a few that i have seen on amazon as well that are really good very well priced if you are looking for them in the us i will look for i will link a few that i have seen uh, on on this video i'll link it below so i'm just going to fold this into three and put it at the bottom of the bed i still want to keep the layers even though it's getting quite warm um and then just add some pillows the throw pillows that i'm going to be using here two of them are part of the set of the throw that i used and then the middle one is one that i always just i like throw pillows that you can zip them and change them accordingly so the middle one is a throw pillow it's a throw pillow that i already had and then i covered it with an ikea pillow cover which i absolutely love i'll link it below i am using ikea curtains these ones they are called linder i think yeah well linder and i'm using the 98 inch ones i absolutely i love the curtain i love the fabric i think it's it just it looks really good quality for the price that you pay for them i think they were like 20 28 dollars 29 dollars i'll link them for you guys below but the only thing i didn't like about it which i think i did share this is this flap here um i'm still looking to get a sewing machine i don't have that just yet so i decided to do something different which is to buy these hooks um and i just clip the uh these flaps down and then clip the clips up here so that's what i've done all the way through so the clip holds it down and then i just added clips in the middle um so that's how it's looking so that's how i'm gonna hang it then that way it will sit kind of this way so you don't see the flaps hanging on the other side
I am adding a few accessories. Some of them I have shared with you in the video before this one, which if you haven't seen, I'll add it in the end card. Um, and yeah, some greenery. I know I'm only using one table lamp here, but I'm trying to be practical. Yana doesn't want to in her room. And the one that's there, that little one I know is more of a desk lamp, but she wanted that one because it has a plug where she can use to charge her phone. So I'm doing what my baby wants. That's all there is to it. And then on this side, I'm just going to add some hydrangeas in this Ikea vase um, and then line up her glasses, make my girl look all good. And I like it also because it adds color to the space. Yana loves to hang stuff up on her wall. As you can see, she's got a photo of herself and my brother and his family. There will be loads of pictures up here. There's one that I removed actually, which is her uh, uh, old school pictures, but she loves to hang things on the wall and you have um, tags and tapes and stuff. So to prevent that, I got this up at the thrift store and all I did was so I just spray painted it black. She wanted some gold on it. So I just kind of use a gold spray on a brush and just kind of flicker it all over it. And uh, I'm going to hang this on this wall so that all this can come on the cupboard and then be on here. That way I'm protecting my wall and she has somewhere where she can pin and remove things however she feels like it. So here is the finished product. I recorded Yana's reaction when she got back from school. Holy quackers! <laughs> I absolutely love how this space turns out and but most importantly her reaction to me was everything. I was so happy that she liked it. Um, I really just wanted to give my baby a space that she could just grow into and love and it made her feel happy and it seems like I did that and to me that's all the reward I needed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you stopping by. As you can see her brother wasn't particularly keen that his room wasn't done too. So his space will be the next space that I do. So I hope you come back and see how we get on with that. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.